I feel so rich holding this fan. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing this Gorga day? <laughs> What was that? Enough. I'm hyper, I'm not gonna lie. I had boba earlier, but I didn't have a lot of breakfast, so therefore it's like hitting my bloodstream really even fast. It's a lot, it's a lot right now. Anyway, <laughs> today's video, I'm super excited because we're gonna do another installment of a fan mystery box from Hong Kong, China. Hong Kong, China, bitch, what? I'm so thrilled. Shout out to Ginny for doing this with me. I am so appreciative. Thank you so much for emailing me and asking me to do this with me for Hong Kong. I am so thrilled. It's literally like a mystery box from Hong Kong. Like that's so freaking Cool. I've never been to Hong Kong before. I've never been and I want to go eventually one day and we can travel again and you know COVID's under control. So I sent her $300 and we're gonna see what is the entails of this box. So what's in the box? I love doing the series around the world and getting to see different people's cultures, different people's makeup, different things like that. And so I hope you guys have been liking this series. I do get a lot of comments about them saying that you guys do enjoy it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Please also let me know in the comments bar below where you guys would like to see next and we can definitely make that happen. But so far I have a box from Hong Kong, China. Okay guys, so that's what today's video is going to be. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it. You know the truth of that. But if you guys do like this video, if you guys like Around the World unboxings, if you guys like the gays, and we've learned that gays are totally cool, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. But yeah, let's go and get started on today's video. <laughs> Okay guys, before we get started on opening our box, we're gonna go and hydrate our skin before we even start it. And by the way, this portion of the video is actually sponsored by Sunday Riley, who I just love. I stand, I love Sydney Riley so much. Their products truly work for me so well. And Sunday herself is just an incredible woman. I love her, I've met her multiple times. We're gonna be using the Sunday Riley CEO Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream. It's a brightening moisturizer. And we're gonna use that to prep our skin before. Oh yes. Oh. It smells like vitamin C, it smells so good. It gives you that orange sensation smell. It just smells so good. Mm. We're just gonna put this all over the skin. And you guys, it's a nice, rich cream. It feels super, super hydrating, but it's great for all skin types. Oh, especially right now we're going into like fall and winter time. We kind of want like a nicer hydration coming into us because it's gonna be cold outside. And that's exactly what I'm going for. It's so beautiful and it feels so nice. And it's not heavy where it feels like it's sitting on your skin. It actually absorbs really nicely and it's very brightening. You guys see this? You see this? So not only does it feel incredible, it helps protect the skin from the visible effects of pollution damage. So we don't like pollution here. No pollution on this channel. Captain Planet, motherfucker. Only pollution of the mouth. Potty mouth, if you will. Ingredient wise, it actually has really nice skin soothing ingredients and a very gentle skin exfoliation experience while you're wearing it. So truly just divine and supple and plump. Oh, so New Riley, you guys are everything. Mm, I just wanna, like imagine this was just a nice ass. I just wanna. So good. Of course, I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to check it out. But Sunday Riley skincare is just truly out of this world. So let's get started on Miss Hong Kong Box. Fuck. Fuck. It's hard open. I'm not gonna lie. It's popped open. I see chips. I see goodies. First things first. What do we have? We have pinchy potato chips. A sweet potato chip. You guys know I love a food moment. What can I compare to here in the U.S. What this tastes like? You know what I mean? My mouth's watering. Fuck. Stop. Mmm. Wait, that's fucking good. I don't know what it tastes like for here in the US. It tastes like chips, yes, but it has like a sour cream and onion slash sweetness to it. It's like a sweet sour cream and onion. Oh my God, they're fucking delicious. I'm gonna gain even more weight since quarantine started. Oh, we have a note, we have a note. Oh, Jeannie just left the cutest note. It's the sweetest little note I've ever seen. So there's not a huge variety of makeup in Hong Kong, apparently, but she did try her best to send me some great shit. So that is exactly what these videos are about. Like I said before in the videos, please don't feel like an immense amount of pressure to make sure that everything is like perfect and you know, it needs to be the best box in the world. Like don't feel like that, you guys. I don't want you guys to feel that like intensity. I just want it to be fun for you as it is for me. So thank you for doing this with me. Okay, I don't know what this is. <laughs> no idea what this is. Rice crackers? They're rice crackers. They feel this shit real good in Hong Kong, don't you? It's like a little wafer. I like that. <laughs> fuck, okay, let me stop. So that's good as fuck. Shit, that's good. We have these Indomie, Mi Instant Mi Goreng noodles. Noodles, this is the first time I've ever gotten noodles. 
from a box. She said in a written note saying, the noodles are originally from Indonesia, but everyone in Hong Kong eats them. Any convenience store you go to, you can buy them. So apparently these are from Indonesia, they're noodles. How sick, we have noodles galore. My brother's a very big noodle person, so he's gonna love these as well. I also wanna do a box from Indonesia. I've actually been in Indonesia before. I've been to Jakarta and it was so incredible and amazing. And I honestly wanna do another one of these, a mystery box from Indonesia. Let me know if you guys wanna see that. That would be dope as thing. These look great, why don't we try them? A pinchy fan. Wait, why does this look so beautifully made? I feel so rich holding this fan. You can't tell me shit with this fan, mama, Miss Thing. No, I wanna be like, I wanna do like a fan dance. You know what I'm saying? This is beautiful. Like it's like made out of wood and beautifully crafted. What? Thank you so much. That's divine. Oh, we got some lip products here. Lip products. Oh, a little note. I love when you guys do this. Thank you for celebrating it for me. I hope the formulas are great. I personally do not use them. <laughs> At least she's honest. At least she's fucking honest. She says, I see a Sailor Moon goodie. Stop. I I personally don't use them. The fact that she's so brutally honest, she's like, I don't use them, but I hope they're good. Good luck. I think I stand. So we have some eye products here. Cyber Colors High End Hong Kong Cosmetic Brand. Ooh, we have a high end brand in here, period. It's like buying Urban Decay. Okay, cute. Heroin Make, Japanese makeup products, but super popular in Hong Kong. The eyeliner is my all time favorite. And we got some little lashes. Oh, oh. I am so appreciative when you guys put these things in bags. Like when you guys help me separate them, that shit helps me so much. Iced Gem Biscuits. I don't know what the f that means, but it's a gem of ice and a biscuit. Mm, they smell really good. Mmm. You know what they taste like? They look like a little cracker. They're a circle cracker and they're, they have a panda on it and you bite it and there's like usually the like chocolate inside of it. The cracker part tastes exactly like that. Like identical. With like a little bit of like an icing on top. Your guys' fucking snacks are really gonna ruin me because they're freaking good. Chocolate fingers. What? I'm literally thriving right now when it comes to like snacks. I haven't found a snack I didn't like yet so far. So I'm really impressed. Can I survive in Hong Kong? It's amazing. Reminds me of like pokey sticks. Mmm! Like a wafer cracker wrapped in chocolate. <laughs> Don't know what this is yet because it's in our bag. We have a note though. In Chinese culture, jade is considered to be a lucky stone. It is known as a stone of heaven. It symbolizes prosperity, success, and good luck. It also a symbol of renewal, longevity, and immortality. Wow. The red packets are very important in Chinese culture. Usually there is cash inside. I hope you will like these. Jade bracelet, jade earrings, and jade zodiac animals. This is giving me like some sickening vibes. We have, this is the red packet she was talking about. Red packets right here. <laughs> How cute. Okay, it's a bookmark. Oh my gosh, she thinks I read. That's so sweet of her. Another little bookmark. How cute. Okay, we have a magnet. So it's a little magnet for like the fridge of a Hong Kong night scene. Whoa. Look how beautiful this is. This is another bookmark. Look how beautiful this is. It's like this gorgeous like leaf with like this jade coloring made of leaves after more than a dozen procedures. You're making me feel really fucking rich right now. Oh my gosh! Look how gorgeous this is! Look at this. Look at this, this is beautiful. I'm wearing it the rest of the video, you can't stop me. Oh! Oh! Stunning! Oh, and a jade one as well. I should wear both of them for the rest of the video. Oh my god! And little jade earrings. That is so sweet. You guys already know I'm obsessed with like, like seeing stuff from like the culture, from the pinchy culture, you know what I mean? I love, 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 and not just like snacks or makeup. Like I love like things like this. Like this just makes me like genuinely so happy. Cause it like makes me feel like I'm transported into like the area that I'm opening from. I don't know, I just really, really like it. We have some face products, foundation. Hong Kong people love dewy looking instead of matte. Okay. We don't actually bronze, contour, and highlight. People hear all about light makeup. PSP follow Koreans. Shh. We don't bronze, contour, and highlight over there. Oh. Oh my gosh, we have another thing. I'm not sure if you know, but your Chinese zodiac is signed as the ram, the goat. In Chinese culture, the ram is a symbol of filial piety as well as purity and kindness. Those who are born in the ram year are family oriented and have a heartfelt personality. That's fucking me. Oh my God, it's me? The two objects in the Ziploc bag is for a year of the ram, which is your birth year. Hang them in your home and you may be rewarded with good energy and prosperity. <sighs> Look at this. Look at this. This like little gourd, this little ram gourd. And then we have this cute, oh my goodness. Look at this little jade one. We have a little ram jade, a little jade ram. 
It's a little ram. Look at this little ram. It's the littlest ram I've ever seen. I am dying with the cuteness. Like I'm literally like tearing up with how cute it is. Like I can't handle it. My God, this is so sweet and so thoughtful. I literally love them. I'm gonna absolutely hang these in the house for prosperity and good luck. Ah! Look at these lollipops. I'm dead, they're humans. They're kids, they're children. These, they, they look like chocolate. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a chocolate vibe from them. <laughs> look at this. This Cyber K, no, I can't read. <laughs> a Cyber Seakin Intensive SOS Treatment Mask. Why do I feel like a mask from Hong Kong will really like step my pussy up? A fish meat sausage? You guys, is she trying to fuck with me? Garlic chili sausage. Okay. I don't know if this is a good idea for me. I don't know if this is the right way, but I'm just opening it. I don't know. That looks like a booty hole, doesn't it? Am I supposed to cook it? Am I supposed to just eat as is? I'm scared. We're not gonna eat that right now. What we're gonna do is you guys are gonna let me know in the comments bar below if I'm supposed to cook that or just eat as is. But we'll try it later on and we'll see. Cause I'm scared what if I'm doing it. What if I'm just eating like raw meat? I don't know. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. The rest of the stuff are all snacky doodles. And I cannot wait to try them. Let's go and get into the makeup. But before I even start, like there's so much stuff in here. Like I'm so honored and happy and excited. Thank you so much for such an amazing box. Like I'm blown away. Like I'm truly blown away. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the face products first. They don't bronze and blush and they don't do all of that stuff. So <laughs> we're gonna see exactly what happens here. Oh, we actually have this little mini face color kit. Shape your face. Color combos, multi-face kit. It's like, they're mostly blushes. Okay, we have something. Melt Away Balm in Oil by Cyber Colors. I actually don't know what that is. Melt Away Balm in Oil. I feel like this is what we're gonna use to take off our makeup. Melt Away Balm Oil. Um, that's all I can really assume, you know? We have Color com Combos. Is that the brand, Color Combos? We have Cyber Colors and Color Combos. Okay, we have a blush lighter. A blush lighter. It's so little and adorable. Here we have our Cyber Colors face product. We're just gonna do it because, you know, she didn't have my shade. <laughs> she does, I don't know if she knows my shade, but we're gonna try it. Luckily, I'm very fair. What? Oh my gosh, does it come with two? It came with two. Is it like a refill? I kind of left. I'm pressing onto the thing. So I'm curious to see what happens. This is all there is, this is all we got, fam. We, this is what we got. We're gonna just tap, tap, tap in, and we're gonna tap in, as I said. Ve oh, that is the most icy glass-like thing I've ever seen. It's very, very light, as we can see. Very dewy. It's actually very pretty. <laughs> see, there's like lavender going on. There's like different skin tones. It's like a mixing thing. So you literally mix all the colors together to get like your shade, I'm assuming. My goodness. This is real dewy. Wow. You know, because it's like that, like the, that quadra effecta, there's like areas where it looks more lavender on my skin. There's areas where it looks more pale on my skin, more pinky on my skin. So it is kind of all over the place when it comes to this. A little bad boy right here. But we are looking real pale and real dewy. I don't think I've ever actually looked this dewy before, ever. Obviously it looks very pretty, very, oh my God, I'm so dewy. Okay, we're gonna just go ahead. I'm just gonna put some concealer on myself because there's no concealer here. I'm gonna add a little bit of concealer underneath my eye. This is what we're looking like so far. I'm gonna go ahead and probably set my under eye at least because this is shocking me. Like it's very much more dewy, much more glass-like than I expect and ever go. Like truly, I'm actually very, whoa. Whoa, 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 this whole, this is glass skin, baby. This is glass skin. Let me set my forehead a little bit too, like just this part, the center at least, because my God, I was looking like an all slick. Just a T zone, just a little bit on the T zone. Whoa, 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 whoa. You guys, that was crazy. That was crazy. Let's take our little blush, our cute little baby blush right here. A little blushing pink moment. Oh my gosh, okay, yeah. We're just gonna go in and take some blush and put it on the cheekbones, just a little higher up on the cheekbones. It's cute, it's actually really pigmented. It's a really pretty bubblegum pink color. Putting this, packing this on over the foundation. Still gives me like a really still dewy finish. Like the foundation underneath, like that CC cream that we're using, whatever it is, is truly like giving me the glow from within. Oh my God, I've never used such a glassy foundation in my life. Never, never, never. But this blush is really cute. Look at that. This is just gonna give us some dimension back to the skin because I lost it. So there's that. <laughs> I think I feel like this is Japanese writing. Um, I could be wrong, but it looks like Japanese writing to me. It's a mascara. We have day for night. 
pen. I'm assuming this is the eyeliner system. Ooh, I auto eyebrow pencil. Yes. Yes, made in Korea. Cyber Colors Power Eye Palette. How cute is this? How cute is this? This packaging. Oh, wow, that's cute. Look at this. Look at that. That's adorable. Oh, made in Korea. We have some lashes, some tiny little lashes right here. Okay, so let's move on to the goodies, the eye goodies. And we have a little brow pencil from Cyber Colors. No, it broke apart, dang it. I love when I can go all the way down the thing. Spoolie on one side. And we have our pencil on this side. And this is the color. It's like a really pretty, just chocolatey brown. Cyber Colors is the high-end one. So Cyber Colors is our high-end Urban Decay makeup. We're gonna do our brows with Cyber Misc Cyber Color. Oh, very creamy, very creamy, super easy. It goes on like literally so easy. The color, it's a very warm brown. Hmm. These warm browns be really getting me good. The pencil itself, I actually really like it. It's going on like it's like nothing. Like it literally is so easy to go on. Maybe a little too easy because I think I need a little bit more of uh, traction for me. Look at that. It's so, oh my God, this is like the warmest brown I've ever used. Help. Look how, like, look how it's so pigmented. It's so freaking pigmented. Wow, okay, I'm gonna go finish the other brow off camera and prime my eyes for the shadows and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so we are back and the brows are filled. China edition. Back in the brows are filled. Uh, back in the brows are filled. Back in the brows are filled. Yo, China. Yeah. Anyway, so that's what they look like. They're very warm, as we can see. Can't do much about it. The color of the pencil, it is what it is. However, the quality of the product was actually really, really good. It was so, so creamy and so pigmented, like intensely so, but we got to a cool spot and I like how they look. Primed our eyes off camera. We also have this, I didn't even see this. This is the Cyber Colors, a liquid shadow. Bitch, look how pigmented this is. Are you kidding me? Look at that, for the lid. Look at this! What? Let's go on with our little Cyber Colors shadows. Now we're gonna dip in, we're gonna do one eye on camera and one eye off camera. For the girls, you know, we're gonna take some of this. We're just gonna run that into the crease. Clearly the shades here are very like romantic-y. I was swatching the shimmers off camera and they're not what I was expecting. I was expecting like a foiled shadow, but they're actually really, really thin and they're glitter. So it's like, you swatch them super thin, lightweight. You guys can see there's not much like base to them. They're like a glittery shadow. See that? How oh, there's like a ton of like glitter in it. Not much of a base. Just like a glitter reflect. That's kind of what these are. They're all, all four of them like that. But the mattes are working real cute. And they feel really nice. Gorgeous coverage. Super nice. Super nice. And the shimmers would be nice too if you guys are into that kind of shimmer. That kind of reflect, no base kind of moment. That's kind of what this is. Let's take this one. It's a really pretty like maroon type shade. My skin looks so like insanely glassy. Like I just can't go over how my skin looks. Like it's literally wild. Okay, I'm putting this into the crease. For what the color is in the pan, I am shocked that it's going on so much like lighter on the eyes. Like it's not super like full coverage pigmented. Do you guys see this? Like this color is this. I just wasn't expecting that. I was expecting much more of depth in the shadow. And even with this brown, putting the brown in here, the deepest shade in the palette, it's obviously deepening, but not that much. Isn't that strange? The shadows, they're nice and they feel good, but they don't have a lot of depth to them when it comes to the shade itself. Huh. Liquid glittery shade, we have to. We have to. Look at that, I really like, this is like really nice. This little liquid shadow is really pretty. It's like a shimmer, it's not like a glitter. It's like a shimmery liquid shade and it looks really nice. You see this? Y'all seen this shit? Very thin too, very, very, very thin, lightweight. Let's blend it. Let's blend it. And that's what that looks like. It's cute, it's very cute. Definitely not what I was expecting. I thought there'd be more depth to the shadows themselves, but there wasn't. That was very strange. Maybe they just want a little wash of color and that's totally okay. We have a little eyeliner. Mm -hmm. Heroin Make Smooth Eyeliner. Look at this, look at this. Bitch, and it has a bristle tip. You got the right one. Ooh, yeah, it's looking nice. I really like this freaking pen, bitch. <gasps> oh, I like this a lot. With this little bristle tip too. Uh, it's so good. It's so good. Who gave you permission? Who told you to do that? Wow, and it's so easy. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm a little gagged, bitch. 
taking the mascara, the Heroin Make Mascara. I like this wand. I love a curved wand. I feel like it really does a nice job at like curling my lashes better. This one's definitely doing a good job at curling and like separating them. It's cute! It's cute. It's very cute. It's not like the best mascara I've ever used, but honestly, it's pretty good. Look at that. You see that? Pretty good. Okay, I kind of stand this mascara and the eyeliner. The eyeliner mascara from Heroin Make are sending me. I like. Okay guys, I'm gonna do the other eye off camera, put some lashes on, and I'll be right back to finish off with the lippy. Okay guys, so we're back and the eyes are on. Back and the eyes are, I'm just kidding, no we're not. We're not having another song, you guys, we can't. We cannot do another song. I put a pair of lashes on. <sighs> So there's the thing. This pair of lashes, it's not my thing, fam. They're so little. I would have to probably stack like four of them to get like what I would want to get. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna wear a different pair of lashes that I like. So that's what I'm wearing right now. By the way, the mascara, it was good. Like I was saying, it was good. I just noticed that there's little fibers in it. There's little tiny black fibers in the mascara, which I didn't know it had. And it actually made it like kind of transfer on my lower lashes. I thought that was super strange because I had never really have transfer on my lower lashes, but I don't know. It was kind of strange. Never happens to me. It looks nice but I was just kind of like, huh, transfer. Me? No, not my lower lashes. The eyeliner was divine. Okay guys, so we're gonna move on to the lippy and we'll be done. The lip products that my darling did not even know about because she doesn't use them. <laughs> this Spirit Heart Moon Rod Lip Cream. Oh, so it's just a lip balm. <laughs> just a lip balm. <laughs> Why was I expecting a lipstick? It's a lip balm. It's a gorgeous chapstick though. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. So we have this mousse candy. The packaging is really adorable. It literally is like a little candy. Open from the top. Oh! Uh -huh. Period! A mousse! A lip mousse. There's so many lip options. We have color combos. Oh, we have a high the high end. We got some lipsticks, I think. Luster U. So they're like literally like little lip balms, I'm assuming. I like lustrous lip balms with like some color. Okay. High shine lip gloss. We have to do a high shine lip gloss. By the way, I um, took off the bracelets because they were actually cutting off my circulation. <laughs> Didn't realize that it was like really tight on me. And then I like moved them and I had these like these things all over me. And I was like, wait, what the heck? And so I was like noticing because I was like doing this. <laughs> I was like, why is my hand dying? They're a little tight on me, which is fine, which is fine. Ooh, the gloss is gorgeously pigment. Look at this. Whoa. And like a little skinny too. It's like a little beaker. Ooh, I want to like put drops in it. Do I look ugly or do I look cute? I don't know. We have this truly kissable lipstick from Sasatini. Sasatini. Never heard of that one. Ooh, that color is Gorgeous. I feel like we have to do a bold lip because our eyes is so calm. Our eyes are so calm. And we have this little packaging as well. Sasatini. Sasatini. This is nice. The Sasatini feels really, really nice. Let me line my lips. Shade 06 Orange Sunset. It feels so nice. Like it's actually crazy. They feel like jelly. Oh my goodness. Do I look stunning? I look like glass, bitch. I look like glass. Literally. But before I go, let me turn on the brightness so you guys can see what it looks like. So this is my face. Brightness down so you guys can see what it looks like. As you can see, the depth in the shadows are just not a lot. My skin is very, very shiny. The transfer on my lower lash line a little bit right there, you guys can see for some reason. The blush, the sheen to the skin. It is shocking. Like, it's definitely a huge difference than what I usually do. Very big difference from what I usually do. But my skin doesn't look bad. Like, it just looks really shiny. The lid shades. And that's it, you guys. That's it for my entire video. We did a mystery box from China, and we're wearing China all over the face today, or the box contents from China all over the face today. A lot of it's from like Indonesia, uh, Korea, Japan, <laughs> different places. Ah, but honestly, I really like how this turned out. Even though I'm not used to not bronzing or really highlighting, just adding some blush, I'm not really used to that as much because I'm used to like, you know, different things when it comes to makeup, but it's fun to kind of try to incorporate, a, like let's say a Chinese routine into like my routine, like what she said. She's like, oh, we don't really use those things. So instead of using it for myself, I wanted to kind of see what we could create with what they do. And I think it looks beautiful. You know, every culture, different things are beautiful in their own way, you know? So I think it turned out fantastically. And I wanna say thank you to Jeannie again so much for doing this with me. I appreciate it so, so much. I had an amazing time doing this. Your box is truly like incredible. It was absolutely incredible, especially for 300 bucks. Like you did an amazing, amazing job. And I'm so impressed. Like I'm genuinely very impressed with the contents. And I'm so excited to eat all the snacks and the noodles. Oh, 
I can't wait. Also, shout out to Sunday Riley again for partnering with me in a portion of today's video. You guys are incredible. You're amazing. You know this. I tell you this all the time. <laughs> You're the best. But yeah, you guys, I hope you guys had fun watching it. I had so much fun doing this and I love doing this on my channel. Let me know what area you guys would like to see next and we can definitely make that happen. But yeah, you guys, that's it for today's video. Have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are and I will catch you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye. I love you. Mwah. My nipples out. Oh! Put them back. We're gonna spread her like a venereal disease. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I said that before in a recent video. I can't remember which one, but I know I said it and I was like, why did I say that? Ooh! Ooh! I'm losing myself in you. Okay, guys, we just popped it open. Get your ass down. I'm losing myself. I'm losing myself in you. I'm losing myself in you. Nothing to look at here. <laughs> I'm gonna eat my snacks. <laughs> that thing, the thing, thing, thing. You know, you know. This shit can cut you. This shit can cut you. This kind of plastic, you know, and like really get you good. It can get you good. Switching the positions for you. Cooking in the kitchen, then I'm in the bedroom. This is why I don't wear like colored lipsticks as much because they get all my teeth and they're such a pain in the ass. To get off my veneers, bitch. Ooh! I'm so shiny. Oh, let me turn. Oh, up. Oh.